Sneaker fam, what's going on, man? As you can tell from the title, yes, I have something on my mind. I have something on my mind, and I gotta get it off tonight. I was gonna wait until Saturday, but you know what? That's gonna be another video. That's gonna be a video where I announced the giveaway. I mean, where I announced the winner of the giveaway. I got a pickup coming in from my man Shumanati. Good looking, my G. Um, but I gotta get this off my chest tonight. It is a must. I get this off my chest tonight, so uh, we ain't doing no intro, we ain't doing none of that. We just gonna get directly into what I got on my mind. So without further ado, screw all that, let's get into it. Okay, so, and 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 I don't want you guys, especially if, there, if, if it's any kids up watching this tonight. <laughs> if it's any kids up watching this tonight, I apologize. But it's going to be a little profanity. You know, this is not really how I operate. But nevertheless, it's going to be a little profanity. So, excuse my French early. Okay? Um, one thing I love about the sneaker community, man, is the, the sneaker conventions. Sneaker mania. Um, the Soul Expo. Just all type of sneaker events. It's, it's almost like... Uh, it's almost like a family reunion. You know, it's like you come out to meet all your family from all over the world and everybody has something in common, which is kicks. Typically for me, when I go to these conventions or sneaker shows, whatever you want to call it, I'm always, and this is a fact, I am always looking to pick up something. Always. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But nevertheless, I am always looking to pick up something. And what's been bothering me is a lot of you jackasses, like I said, excuse my language, it's going to be some profanity tonight, people. So I'm apologizing early. But a lot of you jackasses are coming to these sneaker events with some of, some of the, what's the good word I'm looking for? I'm looking for a really good, some bullshit. You guys are coming with some of the worst looking kicks that I've ever fucking seen. That I've ever seen. And on top of that, you guys are asking for retail price. Case in point. I'm in the speaker convention and I'm saying, you know what? I'm looking for a nice pair of New Balance. A pair of 998s. Um, white. Well, mostly gray. With a little bit of maroon in the back, a little bit of maroon on the tongue, with a white, like a cream midsole. And then I run into this jackass, and he tells me, Oh, I got him. I got what you need. I got exactly what you need. And for the sake of argument, how much you want for these, brother? Um, you can give me 160. One fucking sixty for that? I mean, yeah, it's a little, it's a little bit of grass stain on it, but um, you know what I'm saying. All you need is some fingernail polish removal. Whoa, 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 fucking whoa! All I need is fingernail polish removal. No, you knew you were you were coming here to sell them. Why didn't you take the fingernail polish remover and fuck your nose up and try to clean it? But. You want to put me through the pain. You tell me I can buy this shoe from you for $160. Go home. Stop past CVS on the way home. Get some fingernail polish remover. Clean the goddamn shoe. Like, what are you guys thinking, man? You guys and whoever, I, I, I know people do this. This is what people do because I've seen this at multiple sneaker events. People are bringing... And these are the shoes that I cut my grass with. People is bringing shit like this to the sneaker convention and trying to sell it for retail. That shit is crazy. I think that is disrespectful to not only your damn self, but it's disrespectful to your parents. Because I'm sure if your mom and dad seen you walk out of the house with this shit in a bag, and keep in mind, half the time, these, these guys bring this kind of shit to the sneaker convention, in a bag, and they don't even have a goddamn box. So, 
if your parents are seeing you bring this shit out the house, especially for the guys, they probably smack you in the back of the head. Like, what are you doing? This is not appropriate. This is not appropriate to try to take to a sneaker convention to sell to anybody. I don't give a damn who you are. Mad disrespectful. And then, on top of that, you're trying to tell me how I can clean your fuck-ups after I give you retail price for the shoe. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. And like I said earlier, I do apologize for all the profanity, but I had to get this off my chest tonight. That is fucking insane. You understand what I'm saying? That's crazy. Why are you guys bringing these beat up ass kicks to the sneaker con, Soul Mania, um, Soul Watch, whatever, whatever shoe convention it is? Why are you guys trying to disrespect like a buyer like myself? Like, who do you guys think you're going to run into? You know? Like, I, case in point, last week at Sneaker Mania, I ran into a guy who was trying to sell some kicks to my cousin. And this is what he said. He said, oh, I have some phone pods. I'm selling them for $160. And I'm telling him, I'm like, bro, these fucking shoes got a million and one scratches on it, bro. In terms, he tells me, uh, no, I, I know. It's, it's, it's a couple of scratches on there, but all you need is fingernail polish remover. No, that's all the fuck you need. You should have did it at home. It's not my job to come buy them, go home, restore them bitches and wear them. You restore them. It's your shoe. It's crazy. Comment down below if you dealt with this. I'm sure a lot of you all that watch my channel go to these sneaky events. And I know you all have seen this bullshit. And that is crazy. Guys, if you are coming out to a sneaky, a, sneaky, a sneaky event, I don't give a damn where it is. I don't care what the name of the event is. Don't disrespect nobody by bringing no bullshit out there trying to sell. And then you're trying to sell for top dollar. I'm trying to explain to this dude. I'm like, dude, this shoe got unlimited scratches. The bottom is in good condition, but it's endless scratches on this damn shoe at the toe. He's like, oh, I only wore them twice. Okay, you might have only worn them twice. But I guarantee your goddamn cousin more, more, more your cousin wore these shoes more than twice. You're not gonna tell me the only these shoes only hit the ground two times ever in life. Fuck you, get out of here. That's it's nonsense, man. It's absolute nonsense. These guys are coming to these conventions with this bullshit. Coming to these conventions with this bullshit and they charging retail. Some of them is charging overpriced, some of them. Because I just think maybe they maybe they think everybody is coming to these sneaky events are dumb as hell. And they just trying to buy anything. I'm just it's just crazy. Like I said, man, anybody that watches this video, feel free to comment down below. If you've been through this situation, whoever the fuck you've been through it with, put their ass on blast in the comments. Cause I don't give a damn. Because I wanna read it. Cause I'm sure I am not the only person who has dealt with this. This is absolute craziness. Craziness. And nevertheless, like I said, man, these are mine. Of course, I didn't buy these from nobody looking like this. I bought them brand new out the store, wore them a few times, got me a house, figured I need to cut the grass, need something comfortable to cut the grass in. That's neither here or there. Comment down below if you've been to a convention, if you've been to a sneaky event, and you've either seen or have been the person that's been approached with some straight bullshit and somebody tried to sell it to you for retail price. God damn it. I'm sick of this shit. Excuse my language. It's your boy Sneaker James, a.k.a. the goddamn shoe freak. And I'm out. Peace.